Good morning. Time to go get some food and see what else the day has. Yeah. Hope that today's not a very short video. I don't like it when it's listed as a short. What can you do? Not much. Actually, I may be able to change it, but I'm new to this. I'll learn something. For those of you that don't know, there's a convenience store called Allsips. Some of the best burritos. This one's a breakfast burrito, but I have a regular burrito that I'm going to eat as well. Yeah, not sponsored by Allsips, but good food. I forgot what it's like to kind of just be like, I don't have anything to do. I kind of feel like doing this, so I'm going to go do it. <laughs> like, just to have some time off, to not have anything scheduled. It is scary, but fun. I am enjoying it a little bit. Um, but again, they're like, this is a small town in Texas. There's not much to do in small towns. Um, but one of the things that I am going to do is I'm going to a restaurant that some members of my family had worked at and one still does. So I'm going to go say hi to my relatives. So I cracked and I decided to get a hotel room for the night. I was not comfortable in that house. Um, but I also really love staying in hotel rooms. It gives me more of a sense of, you know, traveling and being away for a little bit. Kind of like a symbol of just getting away. But yeah. I get to help cook. Look at my hair. I think my hair is cute. Ponytail. It's cute. So this is a topic I'll probably only address once. The topic of smoking. Um, I don't smoke. I tried vaping a couple of times and it, it I never got hooked and I'm thankful for it. Even just being in my family's house because everybody is a smoker over there. They have been for decades, ever since I was young. So, um, <sighs> guys, I cannot breathe in that house. Like, I left that house, like, my lungs were filled with smoke. And where I've not had an house med attack right now, I'm not getting as much oxygen as I normally would and whenever I leave the house it's it's a lot better but being in that house I didn't realize how much it affected me until today so um, for those of you that don't smoke continue to not smoke for those that do it's probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest, addiction to quit. Um, but as someone who, as someone who doesn't smoke, but I cough, like I was coughing in my car as if I smoked. Just being in that house, it hurt my lungs. So, um, from a non-smoker, getting hit with cigarette smoke from other people like it hurts it hurts us so if you need help to quit smoking there are resources um that's just like it it hurts it hurts when we see our loved ones who smoke coughing up lungs and it hurts our lungs too so it's something that a lot of people are going to debate over, but I'm going to tell you fact right now. I struggle to breathe when I'm in that house. I don't struggle any other time, but when I'm over there. That's the only... That's the only thing that really changes from my place to... Well, my family's place. Is that they smoke and I don't. So yeah, that, that's something that I I really don't 
care if other people smoke. Like, that's your decision. Just, just know that it hurts more than just you. Um, it hurts everyone that walks in. It, especially, like, if you've smoked for so long, like, the house is full of smoke. You could see the nicotine just running down the walls as if it were paint or as if it were water. It's... It hurts. It physically hurts my lungs. So with that, I'm going to call it an early night. Get as much rest as I can for the drive back to Tulsa tomorrow. Um, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Much love. Okay, thanks. Bye.